Welcome to today's video, where we'll be discussing the latest trend in luxury spending. According to a recent report by Morgan Stanley, South Koreans are now the world's biggest per capita spenders on luxury brands. In this video, we'll take a closer look at why this is happening and what it means for the luxury industry. The luxury market has been booming in recent years, and a new report by Morgan Stanley has revealed that South Koreans are now the world's biggest per capita spenders on luxury brands. This is a significant trend, as it shows that South Korea is now as important as Japan to luxury brands. One of the main reasons for this trend is the housing boom that has been taking place in South Korea. Property prices in some cities have doubled during the pandemic, making homeowners feel wealthier. On the other hand, younger Koreans who are despairing of ever getting on the property ladder are now spending their money on luxury treats instead. The trend is also being driven by a growing number of status seekers and cash-rich millennials who are looking to make a statement with their luxury purchases. This is a global trend, which has helped to propel Bernard Arnault, the French tycoon behind luxury goods powerhouse LVMH, to become the world's richest person. Korean millennials are also contributing to the luxury boom. According to a 2022 report from retail giant Latte Group's member loyalty unit, purchases of luxury goods by people in their 20s jumped 70% in 2021 compared to 2018, the strongest growth among all age groups. The rise of Korean pop culture, led by boy band BTS and Oscar-winning movie Parasite, has also prompted top fashion houses and luxury brands to sign Korean stars as ambassadors. This has further fueled the trend, as celebrities such as Squid Game actress Hoi In Young endorse brands including Louis Vuitton and Bentley on Instagram, while the members of girl band Blackpink endorse luxury companies such as Chanel, Bulgari, Cartier, and Tiffany. However, it's important to note that this kind of boom won't last forever. South Korea's household debt is higher than Japan, the UK, and the US, and the Bank of Korea has increased its key policy rate, bringing the era of cheap money to an end. Real estate prices in South Korea fell by the most in the world in the third quarter of last year. So, it's worth keeping an eye on the market in the coming years. Don't forget to like this video if you found it informative and interesting. Leave a comment below and let us know your thoughts on luxury spending in South Korea. Hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our latest videos and stay informed.